dock on Saturday and um, we have three sets of yards. First one is here. This is the second. And the last one is here. It was the day before and um, I'm just going to go out and uh, muster one of the larger paddocks. Um, I muster it this morning in the, in, the, um, in the cold. I'll come out nice and easy. Yeah, I'm trying to set things up so that um, I can uh, I can dock four mobs and one set of yards. Um, they're a better set of yards, so um, I'm just going to bring them a, a little way compared to a um, couple of the other uh, mobs. So um, I'll do that larger muster this morning and then another one um, this afternoon. And then I'm basically set up so that um, we can dock six mobs tomorrow. Um, hopefully nice and easy and I can be on the cradle as well as do the mustering. Right well I'm, uh, I'm at the bottom of the paddock. These have all got to go straight up this hill to that tank in the distance. Probably can't see it but it's basically where those pine trees are. Um, so I'm just going to have a bark up and these are all singles so should be a relatively easy muster um, straight up over over there um, and then I'll start um, start moving them along I'll get this this paddock done this morning into about a 5 hectare holding paddock which I'll um, probably push up into even smaller holding paddock tonight um, they can have the day up there just to graze um, and then this is 27 hectares and then tomorrow morning it's to do this paddock which is going up to those yards up there um, so this one below us is 28 hectares this one I'm in 27 which uh, I guess are our bigger paddocks on this place um, probably quite small for some people but yeah that's the idea. Will I go get a mod? Yeah, the tricky thing about this paddock is um just this this bit of papa here. Um you do have to send a dog up that fence line and they'll have to go along there um just to make sure that all those ewes come come along there to the top of the paddock and I've got a dog over on that fence line I've just lost sight of him now but he should be bringing anything along there and the cows have stayed over there that's where I want them they can they can just relax they don't need to be mustered so um yeah it's going all right Go on, boy. Good boy. My heading dogs over there somewhere. Should be on that next mob by now, uh, knob. And I'm gonna come around this track. I don't know if you can see that, but they're already walking out the gate, which is ideal. Um, now I need a dog up here on the right. So hopefully my heading dog's going to be there shortly. But right, he's still down here. Unfortunately, a couple of ewes and lambs went in there. And he Gus held them up a bit. But here he comes, here he is. Well, I've got a dog there. They're just about all up. Got a dog up there on the track. And a dog up there. So, theoretically they're surrounded. And they have to go. So, I'll let you know. It's five past five. We're in the paddock, ready to go. 
Well, I think I've got them um, all to one corner of the paddock. They've just got to walk up this ridge up here and into the yard somewhere up there, which I'm sure you can't see, but anyway. Sit, Gus! Hunterwards will get them through the gate. I hope. 